Yeah. See some heat there. It's the only cap with heat. This engine was rod knocking, by the way. Uh, so there should be a bearing in there, and this is on the crank. You can see where the bearing ends. And uh, it picks back up over here. So there's a good a bit of that bearing material missing. Because it should have two halves that complete the entire circumference of the crank journal. Yeah, I'd say that's it. And actually, the crank looks like it fared pretty good. Marred up, you know, machine shop could clean that up. But as far as the uh, bearing, it's gone. Not too bad, though. All right, just for everybody's educational purposes, in case you don't know. Um, so number one cylinder, the rod bearing spun on the crank. This is number two. You can see the difference in the finish, um, which this still isn't perfect. So some of the material from number one came over and got into the number two bearing, which you'll see all the wear marks and you can kind of, you can feel it with your finger. Um, so these are, they still look fairly normal, minus the gouges in them. And this is the number one cylinder bearing. You can see it wore the ends right off. Um, it was running on the front side of the crank right there, which ate into it. A little comparison. You can see the thickness, the ends that's got a little notch in it that sits into the rod cap. It's notched for it. And these ones is just completely gone. Wore very thin. And that is, I knew right away which one it was just because the rod cap, you can see it has a witness mark from the heat, from the bearing heating up inside there.